What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today, you know, a little bit different. All right, it was it's tricky. We don't we don't film on these days. So, uh we had to do this from we had to do it Paul Yesser style, is what we're calling it. <laughs> you know, the old Streamlabs style. Uh but I hope this works cuz we want to talk about this. We want to make sure it gets out so you know about it. And we have two videos come out today, starting first with the Freddy rework that just happened during the 3-year anniversary stream where they talked about it and you know, it's still a work in progress. They right. made that very clear, but it did come with some pretty exciting things, and I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on it. So as we dive in here, uh, let us know in the comments below how you feel about it, because I'm still debating on how I feel about it. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll make up my mind when as we read through this. But now, there's a new sleep cycle when it comes to Freddy, okay? Starting, there's three components. First, there's micro-sleep, which makes Freddy invisible at a distance, okay? But he's visible at close range mm -hmm. for survivors, uh, and the terror radius, uh, it's not, it's no longer the song. It's just the terror radius beat that we know in general. So you're not going to hear the lullaby. You're just going to hear the normal terror radius that we know from like other killers. Yeah, in, in the micro sleep section. There's no song when you're in micro sleep. Right. So it's more obvious when you're within Freddy's terror radius. Right. And then again, if he's if he's close enough to you, you'll be able to see him. But you literally, if he's, you can literally, if he's walking away, you can see him turn invisible yeah. if he gets too far away from you. Mm -hmm. Then the next component of the sleep cycle is passive sleep, which is you fall asleep straight up. You're asleep after, 30, after 60 seconds, excuse me. You fall asleep after 60 seconds in game, and now Freddy is completely visible and is everywhere. You can see him no matter what, no matter the distance from you. And this is when you hear the lullaby. It's no longer a terror radius, but rather a lullaby. Right. Uh, so this is really... A, that's important because lullaby is it's much harder to detect that and it until he's really close you it's kind of hard to tell exactly uh how close he is to you so you can be caught off guard yeah. basically and yeah. that's why that that's a big change already uh then of course there's the element of being woken up now you could still wake up with failed skill checks mm -hmm. as well as sabotage skill checks which i think is pretty interesting yeah and of course the old snap and clap you know it's still there uh however they did add dream objects so these, basically, they're just clocks that are on top of dressers. Yeah. Uh, it's similar to the saw trap removal, basically, and how, how Jigsaw works, how the pig works. And, yeah, and this will this allow you to wake yourself up without using skill checks. Right. Yeah. Just little places around the map that you can wake yourself up without help. Because if, if everyone's asleep, then I, you can only be woken up by people who are awake. Right. So if everyone's asleep... There's got to be a way to wake yourself yeah, up. Yeah, it's also, you you have to weigh the difference. You know, it's skill checks. Yeah, it's an easy way to wake up, but you're still alerting Freddy to where you are. Mm -hmm. uh, and that it may not be worth the risk. So rather, you go find a clock, and then you can be woken up without being caught and not using anyone's help. Right. It's nice. It's a nice little thing to, as you're making Freddy better, you're still making it make sure it's balanced. Yeah. Uh, now comes to the dream abilities that Freddy has, because, of course, you get to change his power up entirely since people are falling asleep on their own now. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, dream pallets, okay? Freddy is able to place fake pallets that can only be seen when asleep. Survivors must remember which ones are real. Fake ones will just straight up explode if, when you put them down. Right. So, yeah, you're awake. You only see maybe, I don't know, five, six pallets. Right. Um, but then you're asleep. Now you see, like, ten. Yeah. And you gotta remember which ones are real, which ones are fake, which ones you can use to your advantage. Yeah. And then they explode in blood if, uh... Which is dope, by yeah, the way. They like, explode if you if you have a have a wrong one. Yeah. So basically, if you, if you happen to throw down a fake one into Freddy, uh, it just won't do anything, and he'll get right to you instantly. Uh, it's, it's, it's you're throwing down nothing, pretty much. It's just gonna burst into blood. Yeah. So that's cool. That's a neat little add on. I think that's definitely will help tremendously. And then on top of that, you have Dream Snare, which is just basically traps, uh, which only sleeping survivors can step into. Mm -hmm. It takes two seconds to arm them. And they, if a, if a someone that's asleep steps into them, they are slowed, and they have like for, it's slowed while active, and there's a lingering effect that happens before you get back to full speed. Right. And now the way they said this on stream, it still confuses me because basically what he said is as it will last as long as the trap was active, which makes it seem like however long the trap was set is how long it will last. But I think that was just poorly worded, and we won't really know until they. You know, post a proper forum post. Right. Uh, but until then, we're, we're a little in the dark on that one. Yes. Um, but that's how it seems. Basically, there will be a certain time that it will last, and then you'll start slowly coming back to normal. So it seems. Now the big one that may is starting to cause some controversy, but I don't think it should. 
uh, the generator teleport ability that Freddy will now have uh, in that dream state. So he has a he has a bar that charges up. Okay, and then you you would notice that if you saw that in the, in the stream that mm-hmm. there's a bar that charges up, and he can simply aim at a gen, and when aiming at it for five seconds, he can then teleport straight to the generator, and this includes any generator on the map. It's a, it's a lot of power to do that. Yeah. Um, but still, when he's doing that, you'll see bursts of blood come out of the generator, so a survivor will know, and the aura or the husk of Freddy appears before he actually is there. So you'll have a clear heads up as long as you're paying attention. Uh, where it could be really effective, though, and when I, where I think it's going to be the most effective is using it to get in front of survivors as they're running away from you. So as they're running away from you, go to the generator that they're running towards, yeah, and then you can be ahead of them and, and get closer to them. It's ba- it's kind of like how the spirit works, if you're asking me. Yeah. Just a, a little bit more isolated <laughs> in terms of where you can go with it. And and again, just the blood coming out of the generator is, is it's scary. Yeah, just more complicated things. Yeah. And... I, I think it's, looking at it, I think it's a pretty good rework. There are still some worries that as you make more and more abilities for killers, you're going to just keep dampening them and in a way that's so specific that they won't be very good against high-tier players that are survivors. That was a risk that came with altering uh, characters like Legion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Legion kind of gets dominated a lot against higher-tier survivors, and you know, that was what Freddy was doing. So hopefully the rework works, and hopefully... Like I said, once you get used to that generator teleportation, though, mm-hmm. like you should be able to avoid it pretty well. Yeah. It just depends on how they decide to implement it. And it is a work in progress. They are internally testing right now, and they're not sure where they're going with it. But this is a decent layout. Right. And all the numbers, like the, the different seconds uh, we gave, those are all work in progress. They're not final. Right. Um, it will. I imagine it will be in the public test build when it's going to come out. Yeah, when it's close already. It's not going to be in this next public test build. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's going to be. It's going to be the rework's going to come out between chapter twelve and chapter thirteen. So right. we're looking at another uh, month and a half ish, uh, two months before we actually see anything along those lines. Right, and same with the end game collapse. Like they tweaked it in the public test build and right. then figured out what worked the best. So again, those numbers probably will change. Yeah, so uh, we'll get a chance to test it out before they actually put it in the game. And that'll be nice, and hopefully it works. I, if Freddy needed it, I think we can all agree that Freddy needed a strong re- rework. Mm-hmm. And instead of just simply changing how his ability worked or how right. fast people fell asleep, they decided to completely rework the character entirely. And I think that was probably the right step to take. Right, and I definitely think this is uh, his map rework, which, I mean, we'll talk about some other time, right. um, will also play a huge advantage for Freddy playing on his map. Yeah. And I think map reworks in general are gonna are gonna mm-hmm. help out the game entirely and fix some looping issues that may have happened right. uh, in the past. Regardless, I'm excited for it. Mm-hmm. Let us know if you're excited for it in the comments below. But that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.